Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sound of a Gap, and this is The Witch's House MV. And I can tell already, this is way different than I thought it would look like. Well, this is another sponsored game by my sister. So this is game number two after we have played through Return One Way Trip. If you haven't seen it yet, you can find the playlist on my channel. And that was actually quite nice, to be honest, although I don't really enjoy horror games. And my sister knows this, but she loves horror games. And she told me I have to play this one just because she got stuck at some point and she wanted to see if I can get through it. And yeah, we'll see about that. I have no idea what this game is about, only that it is a horror game. So we're going to take a look at the description. So a young girl, Viola, is drawn inexorably to a mysterious manner that seems to change behind her back. It is a place of pain, turmoil and death. Plum its detestable depth and abominable history. Untangle riddles that bar your perilous path and flee the hellish halls of the witch's house. And to be honest, on Steam it has a very positive review. I haven't seen all the reviews, just some that they say it's actually quite well made. And as you can see, it's from 2012, but the MV version is from 2018. And as far as I can tell, there will be pixelated graphics and horror, and it's a Japanese horror RPG, actually. Death will be coming unpredictably and keeps players on their toes, that's what I can read. Anything can happen at any time, and yeah. This seems to be quite interesting. It's supposed to be around two, maybe two and a half hours, depending on how quickly you can solve puzzles. And yes, there will be a lot, probably, or at least some. So it's, it's supposed to be quite puzzle heavy. And there are supposed to be a bunch of jump scares. And to be honest, I don't like jump scares. That's one of the reasons why I hate horror games and movies and stuff. I don't like to watch those because every time there's a jump scare, it feels like I will get a heart attack. So let's see if I can survive through this. Yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna take a look at the options and see what I can change. And then we're just gonna jump right into it. So, The Witch's House MB, second time I play for my sister. Please select the difficulty. This setting cannot be changed mid game. Easy, normal, and question mark. Okay. Easy allows instant restarts after a game over for those who want a stress free experience. Normal game overs return you to the title screen. The original difficulty for those who want tension. Uh, okay, does it mean I can't? Wait, instant restarts? So I have to restart from the title screen? Do I have to restart the whole game? That would be awful. Hopefully there will be checkpoints. <laughs> okay, let's, I'm gonna go for normal. I always play normal mode. And then there's a question mark. We can't select this yet. Maybe this will come when we have finished the game, but then again, I will most likely just play it once. All right, let's go for normal mode. And it's green, it's a color I like, although I like blue too, but well, well let's go for normal. Uh, yes. Okay, I can see a cat. Yeah, the pixelated graphics are quite nice, I can tell already, and it's still like four to three. Uh, okay, move select, move like this, interact with... Ooh, okay. Show menu and da dash. Ah, but you can't dash all the time. You can't mesh it. Or well, you have to go like in a straight way for a while. You can't go like straight and then left and then dash all... No, you have to go for a while. Oh, ah, if you hold it. Ah, it's like running. Ah, okay. I thought, I thought it's just like a quick step or so. Uh, interact. We're going to do this in just a bit. Uh, show menu. Uh, okay. It is like an RPG. We do have HP. We have an age. We are 13. Items. A letter. Uh, read. Sure. I don't mind if you go out to play, but don't go too deep into the forest. Hope to see you home soon, Dad. Why would you leave a letter? Maybe he was working early and he just left the letter. Those were the days back then when we don't, didn't have smartphones and stuff. Uh, anything else in the menu? Load and options. Okay. Cool. And load. So, ah, we have to f a file to load and to save. Okay. Can we talk to the cat? All those controls are moving away, but I don't see it all the time. That would be nice. Okay. Hello? Cat? Cat? No? Nothing? Okay. Uh, anything here? No. And that would be the way the way back, probably. I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's just go down and see what's happening. Okay, for now it seems like fairly linear. What is this? Um, I can't get to it. Am I supposed to go a different way? Why? 
this is already weird. Why can't I, why can't I get to it? Um, maybe there's a way through here, through the through the woods. All right, if the puzzles are like this, uh, I don't like it. <laughs> it's not intuitive whatsoever. It feels like I have to go up. Don't tell me it's because I'm playing on the PS5. This would be just bad. How am I supposed to get there? Maybe I should, let's talk to the cat again. Maybe you can talk to the cat now. Uh, the cat is gone. Okay. Is there a different path, a different way? Okay, I'm already confused. Yeah, I can't reach it. That's so weird. Wait a second. Um, I have to press X, not circle. Wait, why? Why are the controls different? Square was the same and triangle was the same, but X and circle are just different. Okay, so the house is up there and out of the forest is down there. Okay, let's go down again. And now we should be able to get the, the item over here, whatever that is. There we go. Found something rusty and sharp. Uh, sure, take it. Got a, ma a machete! <laughs> Items are not used automatically. Stand in front of an object, then select an item from the menu to use it. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Some items will perform effects as long as you have them in your possession. Check an item's description for more info. Actually, we should do that. Sure. Machete. Well, that's the same. Um, a sharp tool for cutting, rusty and old. Okay. So we should be able to cut this. The way is blocked by a startlingly huge patch of roses. So, how do I? I can't cut this. Okay. Then we have to go this way. There is no other way to go. And we're gonna cut this. The way is blocked by a small patch of roses. How do I use it? Oh! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's go back. Let's go back. I wanna see if I can cut this down here too. If this is the way back, just to see... If we could go back, cut roses. Can't even make a dent in them. Okay, so we can't go this way. Then let's try this right here again. This is already like very old school. I'm not used to this anymore. In a way it was similar to Return with the mask and stuff. You had to get into the menu and then click on the mask and then you can put it into the doors and stuff. Scratches on the door. The door is jammed and now sports bloody gouges. A rusted nail juts out from the wood. Uh-oh, it's jammed too, and I don't like the look of those. Three bloody scratches mark the door. Wait, that's it? Okay. It was so obvious. Bloody scratches, bloody teeth. Three of each, so... Well, that worked. We can open the door now. What is all this? Ah, oh, yeah. You can pass through now. The machete broke. Ha. Okay. So, no more weapon. Right. Cat. Now, can we talk? A black cat. Huh? What is it? What? The cat is talking. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Hmm. The way out is blocked up by roses, huh? Uh, the door just opened. You gonna go in? Well, I have to. Might as well, if you can't leave. Black cat chat. <laughs> okay. Alright, uh, yeah, we're gonna save it. Just in case. Cool. Um, can we go to the back side? Yeah, but there's nothing. Okay, so I have to remember it's uh, X, not circle. Great. Okay, let's go inside. Hello? There is a pool of blood. I saw something at the top as soon as we entered. I don't want to step into the pool of blood, just in case. Come to my room. How? I have to get into the pool of blood, right? I thought so. Wait. God dang it! <laughs> okay, I have to find the room first somehow. I don't know. Uh, that was a quick first death. <laughs> Okay, maybe we should have kept it on, on uh, easy mode just to skip the, this loading stuff, but it uh, doesn't matter. Let's do this again. Yeah, 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 I saw something up there. So we're not gonna step in there. Come to my room. Okay, we're going outside. Ah, different. Okay, yo, decided I'd follow you for laughs. laughs. 
<laughs> okay, that's already funny. Uh, incidentally, where the heck did you come out from? I don't know. I don't know, just from out there. Uh, right, can we go left and right? We can. Will it, will it change? It won't. What's over here? Huh? It won't open. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Uh, I started right. Let's go right. Sure. A vase of roses. There's a door. A teddy bear! Wait. Bears and the basket. So? The basket has a big teddy bear in it. There's a little bit of room left. Ah, we need to put another bear in there. This seems to be obvious. And to be honest, I'm gonna save it right after everything I did, just because if we load it that we can skip what I've seen right away. I think that's the best idea. There's a clock. Ooh, sometimes it's a little bit weird. A large clock. Time marches on. Ah, yeah. What do we... There's another teddy bear. It won't turn on. Okay. Witch's diary. I'm quite certain I will die if I read it, but I'm just curious. I was sick, so no one played with me. My father and my mother didn't love me. Aha, uh -huh. that's it? Okay. Anything in the cupboard? It says opens when the house returns to normal. Ah, oh, yeah. A pile of presents and empty cookie tins. A teddy bear rests against the pile of presents. Uh, take it. Sure. We got a teddy bear. A big stuffed bear. Uh, okay. The present fell from the pile. Well, it's supposed to be like this, maybe. I don't know. Let's move on. But then again, I don't even know why I do have HP. Maybe it will take a time. But because I, the first time around, I died already. But because I got squished. Ah, yeah. Yeah, right. Um, wait. Item. Teddy bear. Put in basket. Its limbs make it too big to fit. Wait, I have to cut off the limbs? Okay, so we need to find some sharp tool to cut it off. Or can we just rip them off? Let's see. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, there are the scissors on the bottom. I can see those. A dusty old dresser. There's nothing inside. Uh, I want to go through first. It's locked. Okay. There's a pair of scissors on the workbench. Take. They are chained to the bench. Yeah, I thought so. I can see that already. Cut off bear's limbs. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Teddy. <laughs> you cut off the teddy bear's limbs. Why is there blood? What the fuck? Got a teddy bear's torso. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sorry, Teddy. Nay. Run. It's getting darker. I have to be quick. I have a feeling. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Item, teddy bear torso. Put in. Stuff the teddy bear torso in the basket. You heard something unlock. Yeah, that's the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. No! Oh, ah! You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh. Holy shit. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Uh, so how do I get away from the teddy bear then? Yeah, 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 I don't like it. Ah, uh, fucking hell. Okay, I want to try, try something. It's diff it still follows me. Can I go back? I feel like it changed places. Yes, it did. Um. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it, no. No. Maybe I have to run back here. Ah, <laughs> okay. I just got away from this bear. This is still the same, I think. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know where to go, to be honest. Because if I go, go back out there, the teddy bear's gonna crush me again. Right? No, it's not? Okay, it's not coming back. Cool. Let's save it. <laughs> uh, the vase? It's on the floor. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh, I hate jump scares. God dang it. No. The floor is littered with teddy bear limbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, should I take them? Sure. I got some limbs. Um, bloody and flashy. Should I go back? I guess I want to go back. I want to see what happens. Maybe we can put him back to the bear or so. Um, items? No. No, okay. Well, then we're going to keep it. The door opened. Ah. Oh. Um. Okay. Uh. There is a card on the table. Can I read this? Oh, I can move the chair. Okay. Check for poison. Yeah, in the skull probably, right? Can I move all the chairs? No. Just the one. Okay. I might have to turn down the, the, the sounds and stuff because if it's just scaring me like hell. A spacious fireplace. Sure. Nothing but soot. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe we have, maybe do we have to burn the legs and uh, what the limbs of the of the of the bear? Can we? A strangely colored soup in a skull shaped bowl. I'm quite certain if I do this, I will die. I want to test this, but but then again, I'm gonna save it first. <laughs> it might be fun to actually count how often I will die. <laughs> uh, the chairs are back to normal. Interesting. Quite certain this poison. Quite certain. Really? Sure. And I'm dead, right? Viola was poisoned. Yeah. You heard something unlock. Wait, what? Uh. And I'm dead. <laughs> okay. So how do we check for poison? I have another idea. Let's just... Teddy bear limbs? No. Alright, there is a note up there. The cook is busy. Lend a hand. Maybe this is what we need the, the limbs for. We'll see. Let's just go down here first. Um... What? Why? And how? Jeez, you freaked me out. Don't come out of nowhere like that. <laughs> Not my fault. <laughs> uh, I wanna see if it's still the same. Looks like it. Okay, let's go back in there. And then let's... Uh, oh god, the cook. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cockroaches, okay. It's locked. Ah, uh, this will unlock if we drink the... He's invisible. Please don't kill me. A book titled Aristocratic Dining. Read. People of ruling and wealthy classes have long enjoyed dining with silverware. Using such hard to clean cutlery proved they were wealthy enough to hire servants. In addition, silver utensils change color upon contact with poison, making them quite useful. Ah, very nice. Uh, lined with tableware, glass, and seasonings. Nothing particularly eye-catching. Okay, then I have to talk to him. There's someone invisible there. Talk. Uh, I'm busy. So busy. Lend a hand. Oh, thank you. Don't cut off my hand, please. The invisible person grabs your arm. They push your wrist onto the cutting board. I thought so! A hand is exactly what I needed. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Taken literally. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. This was so obvious. <laughs> Alrighty then, we know what to do. Um, I think, at least I think I know what to do. Uh, do I have to read it again? Actually, I'm just gonna read it quickly. Just that we know what's going on, and then... Uh, do nothing? Wait. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Items? Teddy bear limbs. Hand over bear limbs. Oh, thank you. I was in need of a hand or two. Let me show my appreciation. Got a silver key. Cool. Okay. Uh, it's probably for the door, right? It's still locked. Or because it's silver, we have to uh, check the poisonous um, skull over here. Item. Silver key. Hit bowl? No. Put key in soup. The key turned black in the soup. You heard something unlock. Hehehehe, <laughs> smart. 
Here's a bit. Uh, why? A wine bottle fell down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just gonna move on. Although maybe... I, I wanna take a look inside here again. A spacious fireplace? Oh, I have nothing else. Okay, okay. The door opened. Cool. Oh, we're going upstairs. And that's the witch. Quite certain. Um, cat. Okay, let's save it. Oops, hello. A decorative cat ornament. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right.